Good day to you. I've got a very quick word of encouragement for you today. And I've called it my suddenly snowdrops. Um, I'm walking around the house and, and thinking about the strange weather, this extreme weather that we've had recently in Cape Town. Lots of rain. It's been grey for days. For a week we had rain, heavy rain, hail storms, and things that we're not used to today. It used to be like this decades ago. I remember we spoke, we speak about it often, and we've had this extreme weather. And today there's this day where the sun is out. I don't think I'm the only one who's done loads and loads of washing and it's out there hanging on the lines and everything is calm and the skies are blue for now. You know, I've got some snowdrops in my garden and I can see them right outside the bedroom window. They show up once a year. I do nothing. I don't have to water them. I don't have to go, and, you know, uh, prune them. I do absolutely nothing. And the soil that these snowdrops grow in is just like dry soil. It's a miracle to me, this plant. I didn't plant them myself unless I did without knowing about it. That's how much I know about gardening. I could have just put some something in there and these snowdrops appear once a year. They usually appear earlier than they have this year. They still haven't appeared. I've got some photographs that I've taken when I saw the, the shoots come through the soil and they look like dark green buds of blades of grass. And so I think for a long time, I thought these were just blades of grass coming through against the wall and I left them. And then I watch, watched over time as these blades of grass came through and then it's as if suddenly one day I looked out there and this plant was there with perfectly formed little snowdrops on uh, growing there outside my bedroom window. And for many years, we've lived in this house for many years, but I'd say for the last four or five years, I've really taken notice that they come out at a certain time of year. And this year, they seem to be taking so long. I noticed on the 20, uh, the reason I can give you dates is because I've been documenting this journey. <laughs> On the 29th of June, I saw what looked like grass come through this, the soil. Took a photograph and I thought, if these are the snowdrops, they're in exactly the position that the, they come out every year, but they look like grass. Two weeks later, I got another photograph and now I'm convinced they are the snowdrops because they are darker than normal grass and they're just sticking out there waiting for something to appear. And it made me think of our life of faith. That's why I'm telling you the story. As I'm walking around the house this morning, I keep getting the phrase, don't fall apart. And I know it's not for me, it's for somebody who's listening to this. Many times we get a promise from God or we're trusting him for something. We don't see anything. There's just this soil that looks like wilderness, <laughs> the desert sand in the wilderness. But we have the promise that's underneath all of that. And God is so faithful. In his time, that promise will come to pass, but it's in the in-between where God has said yes, and we've said, amen, I believe this, and in between, waiting for it to happen is where the testing times are, and we aren't sure if this thing is ever really going to grow into what God said it was going to become. And so I know that this year my snowdrops are later than they have ever been. And so there came a time where I began to question, uh, is this really grass or is it really the snowdrops that are meant to appear? And so now that I see that these are actually snowdrops, I know one day they're going to appear. And in the extreme weather, in the terrible winds we had, in the heavy rain, um, I mean, it was so heavy that some of my pot plants outside, the pots actually cracked. Um, and the soil outside and the other pot plants, it's waterlogged, even though they've got the, the holes underneath for the, the, the water to go through. It's just waterlogged. And these snowdrops are sticking out there as a sign. I'm still going to be everything I was for the decades before. I'm still going to give you some snowdrops. <laughs> and so there's some people who are looking at what looks like the signs of things of God moving. I'm telling you, hold the, your ground 
keep your faith. God is faithful. Don't fall apart in the in-between. Um, sometimes we, we have these the storms of life, the battles that come and go, and that promise just remains solid where it's meant to be. <laughs> keep your faith in the promise of God and keep your faith in the faithfulness of God. Don't fall apart in the season. The world around us is turbulent. The world around us is in chaos. There are strange things happening, attempted assassinations and, you know, all of these things going on around us. You know what I'm talking about. But God is faithful. And you know what else God does? He takes chaos. And in the midst of chaos, he sets up um, situations and things for his purposes to come to pass. I think of Esther and Haman. Now, Haman wanted to take out the people of God. And God had someone chosen right there where she needed to be, Haman. And she was the one who orchestrated it. That was the wisdom of God who orchestrated the whole thing. That Haman was taken out by his own plan to kill Mordecai. Don't fall apart when it looks like things are not happening. When it looks like things are out of order. Keep your focus on Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. Because he has a plan for you. His plan is for his glory to be revealed. You might feel as if you've been stuck in the, in the wilderness, in the back of the desert, like Moses was, but chosen for a purpose, chosen for a time. And so be like my snowdrops today. <laughs> You're hidden there in the presence of God. You have a purpose to reveal his glory. And so you're hidden in his presence. Stay there. The storms come, the winds blow, the rains come, but your foundation is Jesus. Let your faith be in the, the author and finisher of your faith today. I'm going to post a photograph. As soon as my snowdrops appear, they will show up one day. I can't tell you when, but the signs are all there. Where before there, were, there was not one sign that my snowdrops were going to appear. So be encouraged today. I want to say to you, don't fall apart. God is faithful to promise, to fulfill the promise that he gave to you. He is still the same God as the God who said, I am the God who heals you. He's still the God of breakthrough. He's still the one who sees you. His banner over you is love. So be encouraged with that today.